Hello, my name is Ireland, aka Limitless Lightworker, and today I wanted to talk about the five signs to know if you are a slider, aka electric people is what they call them. So what is a slider, you may ask? A slider is someone who has an abnormally high energy field. So normally the body vibrates at eight cycles per second, which is the same as the Earth's electromagnetic field. But if you're vibrating higher than that, then it's gonna cause disturbances and disruptions in electrical things that are vibrating at the eight cycles because most electric things do have quartz within them that's vibrating at a certain pace. And so when these slider people come near these electric things, they actually cause them to go haywire, for them to blow, blow, burn out, <laughs> stuff like that, because it's disrupting that quartz vibration. Especially this is happening when the slider people are being revved up in emotion. So whether that be positive or negative, it's causing more of that wave of energy to be pushed outwards. So that is what is happening to these slider people is that they have this higher energy and when they're revved up, when they're feeling intense emotions such as overly excited or they're angry, it sends out a surge of this wave out of their bioenergy field, which is their aura, that affects things around them that is not used to vibrating at that high of pace. So some of the signs of being a slider is one, you can't wear watches. Watches are a no, no, no. I've heard many people who have said that they have gone through like 10 watches in a year just because again, it's right on your body, it's sitting on your body, and it can't keep up with your electric field. So what I've heard a lot of people do is they've put um, pennies or copper underneath the watch to break that barrier to ground. So that is a little recommendation. Um, the second sign that you're a slider is if you are burning out alternators, headlights, street lamps. So there's a lot of sliders that I know who they'll drive under street lamps and they'll either turn on or off um, within their cars. Their alternators will go out more frequently. They've gone through like two alternators in a year, going out through headlights multiple times in a year. Again, because when you go into your car, you're becoming one with the car and you are connecting and putting your energy into the car. And so that is another sign is you're going to be affecting those things, especially. <laughs> um, the third sign that you are a slider is you have a regular EKG, which is the electrocardiogram, which measures your heart's electrical activity. So that is going to be irregular, which can cause issues with credit cards being unreadable. So you might notice that you go to pay with your credit card and it's not reading. There's nothing wrong with the bank. There's nothing wrong with your funds. It's your card is unreadable because you've completely thrown off its electric magnetic frequency with your frequency. So you might notice yourself getting a lot of new cards constantly. <laughs> You're that person who's like, I need a new card at the bank and it's not because you lost it. <laughs> so the fourth, way you can know if you're a slider is if you notice yourself having a lot of psychic ability so a lot of these sliders they do have that increased energy field which a lot of psychic people they do have that so you are going to be experiencing a lot of psychic interactions within your life it'll probably increase um, especially once you learn how to ground this energy the fifth sign to know if you're a slider is if you notice that when you're around computers or you're around CD tracks that they tend to skip, freeze up, they're not working correctly, again, because you are affecting the electromagnetic field of these electronics. So I know it's annoying. I know it's hard to deal with going through all these different things and feeling all these different emotions because you're wondering why is this happening to me? Why am I having to go through all these 
electronics. It's even happened with me. I've gone through straighteners, curlers, like three of them in a year. And they're very nice brands. It's because, again, I'm throwing them off. I've noticed when I'm next to TVs, um, things that have heat running through them, like ovens, I'll stand next to them and they'll pop and they'll do that. <laughs> And it's just because of your energy field. And it's not a bad thing. I know it's annoying when you're going through computers and phones and cars and light bulbs and it gets expensive. But at the end of the day, if you harness this amazing energy, you can do great things with it. At first, it might seem like an annoyance and you just don't want these things to keep happening but it's actually for your benefit because you can harness this energy and you can use it for your own good. It's a superpower, it really is. <laughs> it's just with anything. If you use it in the wrong way and you don't learn how to deal with it and how to really harness that, it's not gonna end well. Just like with psychics, if they're not learning how to harness their powers, they're gonna be absorbing all these energies that aren't their own until they learn how to really work through the abilities that they have been given and that they came here with. So a lot of these sliders, the reason why they have these higher energy fields is because A, they're indigo starseed children, they already came here from other planets that were vibrating at higher energy fields. So they come here completely out of whack. Um, second is if you've had like UFO alien encounters that could cause electrical because they're vibrating so high. So if you come in contact with them, it's going just like you affecting an electric electronic, it's going to affect you in the same way. So that can be a cause. Um, another cause is with near-death experiences because if you're going out into the realm of disconnecting from your body, your energy field changes. So again, that's gonna change your electrical field when you come back into the body. Um, another way is if you were electrocuted or electrical shocks. I've heard people who have had electrical shocks as a child and then all these things start occurring right after so uh, my advice for you sliders because i have some of these experiences as well it's just like electricity when a lightning bolt comes down it's wanting to ground itself if it doesn't ground itself it's going to go through you it's going to go through a electronic it's going to go through anything and if it goes through an electronic it's going to completely fry it so it's just like with your electrical bioenergy fields it needs a way to ground you need to ground yourself if you have these signs you need to ground yourself every single day into the ground if you notice yourself experiencing emotions that are affecting electronics ask yourself in that moment how are you feeling why are you feeling these strong emotions because really what's happening is you are just releasing pent-up energy when you are affecting these electronics in such a way that it's so intense that it can fry something where is that strong electrical energy coming from? If you are in meditation, if you are grounding yourself every day, it is releasing naturally. It is not releasing in strong surges. So you need to make sure that you are meditating every day, connecting with yourself, seeing within your body if there's anything that you are really holding on to. Making sure you ground yourself again and making sure that you are aware of your emotions and making sure that you are constantly cleansing yourself of toxins, of negativity. Breathe in good energy, breathe out negativity. That way, you're gonna save money, you're not gonna scare people, people aren't gonna think you're... <laughs> no. Once you learn how to do those things, again, you can harness this energy. You are vibrating higher. You have a higher electrical bioenergy field, so you can really use that to your benefit to manifest the life that you want. So I hope that this video helped you if you are experiencing some of these slighter signs and symptoms. It is a strange phenomenon. Phenomenon. <laughs> that word is funny. So comment down below 
if you know someone who is experiencing these signs or symptoms and make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day and stay blessed. Mwah.